I'm Jerry Baker and um, I'm sort of the self-designated mayor of Section 97 at Crown Hill Cemetery. Section 97 was uh, actually given to our family to develop a place for our public safety heroes as a final resting place. I've been involved obviously with this from the very inception of the program, but what I have seen over the years was a need to improve on the delivery of the final resting services for our fallen officers and our heroes. And finally got to the point where I thought we could manage a project that would improve the Heroes of Public Safety Monument. So I came up with this idea. I approached Crown Hill and they said, absolutely. And through the course of talking to people about how to get this project off the ground, uh, I was introduced to events. We talked about the scope of what we wanted to do and said, let's do this and do it right. And they've done a great job since then. Met uh, Jerry Baker for breakfast um, back in late July, early August, I believe. They were wanting to uh, kind of give it a, a facelift and an update. And I explained what I wanted, what I was trying to accomplish and things like that. And he just said, we can do that. Uh, so myself, Brian Allison, Andrew Dunbar met out here multiple times. Ryan Decker got, got all the minds together and came up with a plan on, on how we could kind of give this thing a facelift and, and uh, give them a bigger area for when they do have funerals or ceremonies out here that there's plenty of space for, for everybody. I've watched them carry caskets over rugged, snow-covered, slippery ground and, and really have to struggle uh, to reach their destination. And now we're, we're taking all of that away and the focus can be on the officer, the sacrifice that that officer made and to do it in comfort for the family. Everybody remembers September 11th, 2001. And in Indianapolis here, one week later, we had on a much smaller scale, but a, certainly a very traumatic event, very similar to that, that involved my son, a Marion County Sheriff's deputy, uh, attempted to stop some folks. A pursuit ensued, and then subsequently he began taking fire. And unfortunately for him, uh, after taking several hits to his car, uh, one of the rounds came through the windshield and struck him in the head. Crown Hill, who has always been a very community-oriented place, wanted to do something to honor Jason and his sacrifice. And so they approached our family and said they would like to donate a section of land and build a memorial. to be doing work on a monument uh, of this caliber and um, for people who, you know, first responders, firefighters, police who give the ultimate sacrifice. Um, I think it's a unique project to be a part of and one that hopefully will last for the next hundred some years and, and, and be able to hopefully have a lasting uh, effect here on Crown Hill Cemetery. I think the thing that's really, uh, you know, captured my heart because I've been in this place for 22 years now is the fact that the words that he said that first day, we're gonna do this right. And with any project, especially when you have to do some tearing apart to rebuild, they ran into some issues and stuff and it wasn't like, oh, let's cut a corner here, let's cut a corner there. It's, this will be done correctly. And, you know, I've been out here every day, not to watch them, but just to admire the work and the dedication that all these folks have. And I think when we're all done and we rededicate this, um, this is gonna be probably a premier place in the United States.